Now, Indonesia's controversial defence minister is on course to become its new president. Unofficial early results put Prabowo Subianto ahead of his main rivals with more than half the vote. Prabowo is a close associate of the popular outgoing leader, Joko Widodo, but critics say his past makes him unsuitable for the top job. Prabowo Subianto was once thrown out of the military over allegations of human rights abuses. Now, he is celebrating victory in his country's presidential election, even ahead of the final results. All counts. All pollsters. Including other candidates' pollsters. They all showed figures that Prabowo Gibran won in one round. Prabowo's election prospects got a boost by joining forces with Gibran Raka Booming Raka, the son of Indonesia's popular outgoing president. The duo's supporters say their apparent victory gives them hope for the future. I hope children will get the free lunch that was promised and that the economy improves with less unemployment. Of course, Indonesia will become a more advanced country and more independent and play a bigger role in ASEAN but also in the world. But despite a new face as his running mate, Prabowo's critics liken his leadership to the dark days of Indonesia's decades-long dictatorship and fear his presidency could threaten democratic progress in the country. DW's Ferdinand Carsten is in Jakarta and sent us this assessment of the election results. Prabowo Subianto started the day full of confidence that he will win the election. Right after voting, he invited the press to film him while he was exercising in his private swimming pool. And then tonight he threw a big party to celebrate his victory based on the quick count result. This actually proves that President Joko Widodo's support to despair by installing his son Gibran Rakabuming Raka as the vice president of Prabowo is working well for him. Prabowo promises that he will continue Joko Widodo's program under his government later has also gained him more support from the Indonesian people. And tonight here at the event in Jakarta, Prabowo also stated and promised that he will be the president for all, regardless of the religion and the economic background, and be fair to all of them.